It's the evening of day two here in California and we're driving right now to a dairy farm to tour it. They got 12 Laylee robots running right now and I believe they're working on the next 12 in the next barn. So this should be a pretty cool place to see and uh, we should pull up there any minute now. So we're in the barn right now, and there's 12 Lely robots milking cows behind us. And they are just gonna start walking around. I guess we'll start with the Lely Juno. We sh saw this thing at the show there, and I guess they got two in this barn set up, and it's looking pretty clean and neat. They said they had an open room somewhere. Yeah, I'll take down here. Okay. So I guess the idea with this barn, they wanted the least amount of man labor going into it so they got the flush alley so they don't need a tractor scrape the alleys and they got the Laylee Juno feed pushers so they don't got to do that with a tractor and then of course the robotic milkers they got out here as well so and I believe you get one of these with probably 12 robots the red cow <laughs> second Juno This is also the 5,000th Laylee robot sold in North America, apparently. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So I guess up here, these would be sick pens, but there's hardly any cows in here. I guess each robot room has four robots in it and you can all see kind of the behind the scenes the cow is seeing a completely different view but back here you can kind of be in the robot room uh, separate from the barn you can see this lady she's getting milked here it's showing your total production from each quarter <laughs> It's cool to see how it's all in pounds instead of kilograms. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing down here, but... So right here is where the ladies step up and go into the robot right there to get milked. Looks like she's pretty curious now. She's thinking about it. So the door just closed behind her. And I guess if she's approved to go milk, the robot's gonna get to work on her. You have a cleaner coming through before they hang the machines. And it looks like it's kind of all in one. The lens is clean, bro.
seen a robot like that. So the milkers just got attached to the cow's teats. Oh, that's cool. You can actually see the milk going through the line right here. And then, yeah, that's the display again where it shows how much she's producing. It's a pretty cool room, eh? Very interesting, yeah. I guess it's uh, it's cool to note, like on these, how the machine that's um, hanging your the cups, your cups are all on one piece of machinery compared to like a D-Laval where it goes and hangs each cup separately. Yeah. So that's interesting to see. And also this whole cleaning system, that's really impressive and cool. So we just talked to one of the owners of this farm and he was telling us that there are genetics in this herd that go back 80 years. So in the 1940s, when the first generation of farmers that came out to this farm, they brought one cow and that's been a closed herd since for a long time now. And those genetics can still be traced back in the cows in this barn. So that is incredibly cool. He was also telling us, if you look, you can kind of see up there that's a whole cow tracking system they have hanging down so they can track all their cows in the barn and see what's going on and they're going about every 20 feet down the whole barn so they can see every cow just a little blue sensors hanging from the roof they got a pretty different tmr than what we got back at home as well what do you think's in there man we got some corn some corn oh, salad some hay Tell me you can't actually smell almond. Can you smell that almond kind of husk in there? Or is my nose playing tricks on me? Dude, there's probably almonds out here. I would think so. So in this California Valley here, there's a million different crops that grow and all the byproducts are typically fed to dairy farms. And we saw that at the other dairy farm we were touring. So there's sometimes, you know, some orange peels or some other almond hulls in the TMR. It's pretty cool. Yeah. You can see the other farm across the road too. They're building the exact same barn as this one right there. Yeah, so that one's not operational yet, but pretty soon, I think so. So this barn is super cool. It's literally just a steel roof and then all the walls are open on the sides. And for keeping the cows cool, I guess in the summertime, they got a bunch of fans over top of all the beds. You can see them spread out throughout the entire barn. Uh, it's a little bit different than how we do it back at home. He also mentioned it's a flush barn. So they're doing what we've seen at some other farms where they flush water down all the shit alleys and it comes and collects here. Very Sweet. cool. Sweet. a Juno tracking strip. Yeah. So we're all the way at the back of the barn and I noticed something pretty cool here. It's called a volunteer foot bath. So in a robot barn, uh, they got to figure out a smart way to get cows to walk through a foot bath in our parlors. Obviously all the cows go through the milking parlor and uh, we can kind of force them to go through a foot bath. But in a robot barn, the cows voluntarily walk into the robots and they also still need to go through a foot bath and that's what they have here. So the cows will on their own walk into this foot bath and uh, they'll probably treat them the same way we do back at home with a copper sulfate solution in that foot bath. That's what it looks like here. So the cows need to walk through the foot bath themselves. And as you guys can see, there's two ladies just standing in here right now. So they're more than willing to do that. Pretty much every foot bath in the back. I see four right now and there's a cow standing in every single one. It's pretty crazy. Second feed alley out of three. Yeah. 
They got the Lely Lunas up there. So that's the Lely's take on the cow brush. I don't know, I'm pretty impressed. How about you? I like it. You don't see many barns like this in California, so it's really cool to see. So in this barn here, they got 720 cows underneath this one roof and uh, four pens with three robots each. So each group is able to hold about 180 cows. This barn has six rows of beds, so three rows of beds for each group, so. So here Laylee's got a display on a bunch of different layouts of how they can set the robots up in barns. And the top one is actually what they have in this barn, but uh, there's plenty of different options. Bit of a quicker video, but uh, really cool to see this barn. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one.